and Kirsten works nicely. Simmons just one too many rolls. First points of the new season, notched by the Harlequins, 10. Here's Simmons, trouble brewing for Quinns, Earls on the hunt, Simmons all the way. Starting this season, just as he finished the last, Sam, season, Sam Simmons. <laughs> with the opening try of this oh, campaign. Stuff. And it's a stunner as well. Exeter at their best. Joe Simmons again providing that late pass. We've seen him do it once already, but a little bit of movement, a decoy runner tight, play out the back, and then off the shoulder, Sam Simmons, and what pace he's got and power to get himself over the line. Cuts a brilliant line. So what can Chiefs make of this position? Simmons in the line out, here comes the rumble. Here comes Ewers. Nobody's stopping that. Absolute, outright, brutal physicality. And Dave Ewers has the Chiefs second. Well, when you're defending against the Chiefs, you know the power of their drive, so you have to really commit. Chiefs use this with a little whip round the front. They use the power of Harlequins coming through where the ball was taken. Just look at the power. They drive right through, but they all get lost past the ball. And Quinn's now looking to dish out some of Exeter's own medicine. Levy's at the heart of things. Care, the eyes and ears at this point. Breaks away. Lovely line cut by Esther Hayes, and he's not too far away. Care, feeding it upwards, and over they go. It's North North. It's crossing. It's He's in front, it's obstruction. No, he's in front, it's obstruction. It's a great line. But the two centres on the wrong timeline. Both so eager to get on the front foot. Play right on top of Exeter. Off that last carry. It's a timing issue. Certainly not a finishing issue. Ten minutes to play. <laughs> Custer secures it. The drive is on. And it's looking meaty. And there's trouble, more trouble for Quinns. It's a third try of the match for the Exeter Chiefs. And a combination of big, heavy forwards have done it, but the man at the bottom, hands aloft, Sam Simmons. Yeah, it's just too easy for them because, again, Harlequins make the same mistake. As soon as they start going backwards, Exeter. Just watch them use the momentum that Harlequins generate to lose all those Harlequin shirts behind them. A slow setup, no panic. Now they'll just try and probe the edges. Harlequins have got to disrupt it. Now it's broken away. Powering forwards. It's that man again. Sam Simmons, ignored by Eddie Jones, treasured by Rob Baxter. That's the bonus point for the Chiefs. Well, he's embarrassed a couple of wingers tonight. For the big celebration. It's got disrupted. They've done their job, but nothing Tyrone Green can do to stop the power of Sam Simmons. Not now. Opportunities. Wide they go, O'Flaherty, three metres short. Woodburn eyes it up. Got to change the point of attack. Keep Quinn's guessing. Cowan Dickey drives. And is within sight. Did he try and reach out? There it is. Number five to compound Harlequin's misery. And Stu Townsend, the man enjoying the celebrations and the congratulations. Well, I think just that release of pressure, getting the game in the bag and then the bow's point, the tap's just open now, hasn't it? The confidence is there. The last rights delivered by Joe Simmons. 
and a thumping victory away from home for the double champions full-time at the stoop harlequins three exeter 33.